Dolphins and welcome to today's edition of the Dolphin Morning News. My name is Jacob. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2022. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. For a brief moment of quiet reflection. During the moment of quiet reflection, please reflect on what it means to follow rule four. Always have the materials to help you learn. Today's weather report. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. Sounds like an amazing day for outdoor recess. Your lunch choices today are cheese pizza slice, crispy cod nuggets with mac and cheese, mac and cheese, or jam which pack. Your side choices are carrot, cucumber, cherry tomato, and steamed broccoli. Now for a special report on new, the new school uniforms. and welcome today's, to today's special report. We are here with Miss Cook. Our special report is about the school uniforms we will be using ne next year. I think this may be the first time many students and teachers are hearing about this. You're right, Jillian. Today is the formal announcement for students and staff. What are some reasons that we decided to do this? Well, Sullivan, studies have shown that uniforms allow students to concentrate better and increase their learning. Do you think students will miss being able to express themselves through the or options of what they wear to school? I don't think so. I think the parents are really going to enjoy, enjoy picking out uniforms for the kids. Will boys and girls all wear the exact same thing? They will because the goal is uniformity. Ha ha ha, no pun intended. But the um, kids will have plaid pants, a solid shirt, and then plaid ties for everybody. What about the shoes and socks? Do we have to wear the same thing? Absolutely. We're going to have brown penny loafers for the boys and girls and white socks. And we'll stop, I forgot to mention, we are going to stop people randomly in the hall for uniform checks. What happens if we didn't put our uniforms on this morning? You'll get sent to the principal's office and we'll have to call your parents to bring you a uniform. Do we only get one or do we have more than one? You only need one. You'll just, when you get home after school, your mom or dad or you will wash it and dry it and get it ready for the next day. This sounds unbelievable. Well, that's because it is April, April Fools! Happy April Fools Day. Please stay and join me. Good morning, Dolphin Dolphins. Today I'm here with Miss Knight and I'm going to ask her some questions about her retirement. So, Miss Knight, what was your favorite memory at Dolphin? Well, uh, I have a lot of favorite memories because I have been here a long time. I started here 26 years ago. Um, but if I had to pick one favorite, it would be all of the art shows uh, that we have had over the years, all the fine arts nights, because um, not only did we get to celebrate your favorite art from the year, uh, but I got to meet your families, meet your parents and brothers and sisters, and see all the pride on their faces. So that, that would probably be my ultimate favorite moment. So Miss Knight, what was, 
Why did you decide to become an art teacher? Um, well, uh, I, I became uh, an artist when I was young, and I knew I wanted to be an artist, um, but I really didn't know I wanted to be an art teacher until I was almost finished with school, and I realized I didn't want to leave uh, the classroom. I didn't want to leave the art room. I really enjoyed that environment so much that I decided to, um, to become a teacher so I wouldn't have to leave the classroom environment. What was your favorite art project you taught at Dalvin? Well, there's a lot of favorites. I really love printmaking. I really love painting. Um, I love drawing. I love it all. But I would have to say um, some of the very favorite moments I've had were with um, sewing and embroidery because I've had so many students who had never done that before. And it was a, a lot of fun to hear them say, wow, you know, I've never sewn before. I've never made a stitch before. I've never threaded a needle before. And so that was always a lot of fun. Was, what will you miss about Dolvin? Well, number one, I'm going to miss the students. I'm going to miss all the students and, and their smiling faces every day and their excitement about, um, about what we're going to be creating. Um, I'm also going to miss all of my teacher friends. I have so many teacher friends here from all the years at Dolvin. And um, I'm going to miss uh, just making art in the art room with you guys. Was art teaching your dream job? It really is. It really is my dream job. I have been here a long time, and um, I've enjoyed uh, I've enjoyed every bit of it. Um, every year is different, and um, it's a perfect way for me to um, to have fun with my creativity and have fun with my um, artistic skills and share that with a lot of uh, enthusiastic students. So I think it really is my dream job. Well, that's it for your interview with tonight, and we hope you have a good retirement. Thank you, Alexandra. I'm going to miss all of my smartest artists. I am an artist. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Today, today is April Fool's Day. All right, Jonas, is some coffee. Teachers, as you take pictures of students learning, make sure to tweet them out with at Dolphin ES. That's it for the morning news today, Dolphins. Have a fabulous Friday and happy April Fool's Day!